Alrighty, we had another request. I was told to let's play blind Kid Chameleon for the Sega Genesis. And uh, the stupid thing is my Genesis doesn't pause automatic automatically when I don't select the window. So, otherwise this would be a black screen right now. Just so I can do the introduction. Uh, this isn't technically a blind playthrough because I have played Kid Chameleon before. But not... Not a lot. Um, I grew up with a Super Nintendo, and so whenever we visited Kmart or Target or Best Buy or something, and they had the Genesis out uh, to demo, we would play the Genesis, and Kid Chameleon was one of the games on the Genesis demo disc or demo cartridge or whatever. I'm going to play one controller. Yeah... Let's do that. Just leave it all at the default. That guy is creepy looking. Scares me. So yeah. <clears throat> I mean, as far as you can get in a demo, Blue Lake Woods, level one, is as far as I've gotten in this game. Because most of the time when I played the demo game, I played Golden Axe. Not Golden Axe. What's it? Yeah, is it? yeah, it is Golden Axe. I'm thinking of Golden Sun, the... Uh, Game Boy game. Alright, so this is our dude Kid Chameleon. For some reason, they make this an arcade-ish style game. You have an actual timer. Crawl. Look down all Sonic-wise. I guess you can't look up. Ow, that probably hurts. Running jump. The controls are very loose. You are... As you can see, I'm flying all over the place here. Wee. Alright, I don't know what the P means, but when you hit the P blocks, that's where all your stuff comes from. You get these gems, and you get these helmets. A helmet turns you into some other uh, dude. And in this case, what are we going to do here? Oh, there we go. Ow. Ow again. That was terrible. There we go. If you get another helmet, you heal back to full. These black ones are bouncy. Whee! Alright, get up there. <clears throat> and uh, there are various costumes that Kid Chameleon gets to use. Ooh, there we go. Funk. Those. This is the first costume, it's the knight. <clears throat> he, he, uh, each of the costumes has a special power. The knight's special power is that he can climb walls. Whee! And when we get to the other characters, I will show off their special powers. Ah. His other special power is that if you jump from too high up, he breaks stuff. Oh, wait, I want that. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Come on, get in there. There we go. And so... Bonk. Alright, white flag is the end of the level. Um, they also each have two special other powers that rely on the gems. Blue Lake Woods level 2. Very Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, here's the next guy. This is... The Samurai. And he's got a sword. That's his special power. Boing. The other special power that these guys have, uh, when you get 20 gems, you can hold down the start button and the A button, and it will give you a uh, special power. And if you have 50 gems, it will do a different power. And I believe it uses the gems up as well. That's why we're collecting all of these that we can. Um, the different guises have different amounts of hit points. You can see those on the upper left. Yay, time. A, uh, the samurai here has three hit points. The knight had five. So the knight is hardier than the samurai. 
but you have to jump on people, whereas with the samurai you can just hit them with your sword. Makes it easier to deal with them. Alright. I'm gonna die, aren't I? There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. The cool thing is, if you're wearing a disguise... How do I get out of here? There we go. Just sort of stand there long enough. When you're wearing a disguise, if you die, you just end up going back to regular Kid Chameleon. Dunk. One of these should be a helmet. No? Alright, where's another helmet? Now, this game's supposed to take place in uh, virtual reality holodeck kind of thing. But, I mean... Ah, oh, and there I actually died. I'm a bad guy at this game. No. Once again, it's the same problem as always. I am uh, not paying as much attention to the game while I do the explaining portions of the playthrough. Thank you. One more drop. These guys will pick up. Knock them off. Alright, I guess I've got enough now that I can show the uh, special. So, hold start, hit, oop, that's not the start button. No, not that. There we go. Causes this little uh, protective shield of diamonds to surround me. There we are, heal back up. And then there's a different one when you get up to 50. Ow. I think I've made it through this level before on the demo version, but I definitely, uh, the only two uniforms I know about are the samurai and the knight. Right, let's see if we just stand there. Okay. I like the, the sound effects of the music in this game. It reminds me very much of, uh, what is it? Road Rash, which was my favorite Genesis game. Road Rash's music is just awesome. Ah. Yeah, bummer. Boom. That's what I want to see. Click. There we go. And that's very Sonic Marble Zone right now. Sonic is one of my other favorite Genesis games. In fact, pretty much all the Sonic the Hedgehog games, uh, Road Rash, 1, 2, and Altered Beast. That would be like the trifecta of Sega Genesis. Alright. No, I want that last gem. Dang it. Alright. It only took, what, eight and a half minutes to get through the first level? High water pass. I'm going to go ahead and make my save state here. Oh, I don't know exactly what button to press for it. Quick save, F5. There we go. And I'm going to end the video. Like I said, this doesn't automatically pause when I uh, click off of the window. If it did, I could, you know, stop the video and then just keep recording the next one. But since it doesn't, I have to save and come back. All right, so that's uh, part one. Part two, we will continue on with High Water Pass, which I have not played before to the best of my knowledge.